Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Yosemite National Park. It is about one o'clock right now. Gonna be sticking around until sunset. I talked to the park ranger and he said that we might catch a small glimpse of the firefall effect over at Horsetail Falls. So we're gonna try and catch that come sunset. In the meanwhile, for the rest of the park, I think most of what I'm doing today is just a scout day. There's no clouds in the sky, which is why we might catch a glimpse of a firefall. Uh, but as for any other landscape photos, can't really do any nice sunset stuff without clouds. I mean, I could just doesn't look quite as good without those clouds. So yeah, today we're gonna scout out the park. It's my first time here. So already this place is absolutely amazing. Uh, first place we're gonna go check out is Lower Yosemite Falls. I don't think we're gonna go all the way to Upper because that's apparently a six hour hike or something like that. So we're just gonna stick to the lower one. Also, there should be no sky at the lower one because I think that there's a mountain behind where it starts. So we might actually be able to get a photo there, but we'll see. So yeah, let's uh, make our way over to the falls and I'll see you guys over there. Yosemite Falls over here. See it? Just, just right there. I'm not sure how well that shows up on the GoPro, but there it is. Uh, you can also see it here on the camera, like so. So that's the composition I'm going for here. So we can just get a bit of the snow. I kind of want to show that I'm here in the winter. That's that's the point of this shot. And then, obviously we got the waterfall there in the background. So I'm gonna try a couple of things. Um, first, first I'm gonna do this without any filters. Uh, just get the normal shot of the waterfall rushing. And then I'm gonna try again with a certain amount of stops of ND. I haven't figured it out yet, but that's the idea. Uh, I don't know how much of a difference it's really gonna make at this point from this distance, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out and see what happens. So first let's go ahead and get our naked shot. Bam, there you go, lovely. So shooting at F11, 100 ISO, and I think it was 1 60th of a second. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw some ND filters on, see what it does. Let's go ahead and throw it on and uh, I'll be right back. I threw a six stop ND filter on the front. I uh, don't think it makes too much of a difference. Uh, it increases the shutter speed to five seconds, so it does make the waterfall look creamier. I suppose that's the best way to uh, explain it. But let's go ahead and take the picture and take a look and see what I'm seeing. Gotta wait five seconds. All right, there we go. Probably can't really see it in the GoPro, but it does make the waterfall look a little smoother um but it's it's rushing really hard already so i don't think the six seconds makes too much of a difference i might try for three stops but again 
at this distance with how much of the waterfall you actually see i don't think it's going to make too much of a difference but we'll try it anyways because we got plenty of time to experiment play around with stuff and that's what we're doing today so yeah let's take another photo the three stop filter instead three stop filter is now in the filter holder see it right there um brought the shutter speed to half a second uh let's go ahead and take the shot there it is quite nice uh we'll see for sure whether it actually makes any of a difference when i get back home to edit the photos um but yeah it's a little experiment see uh see what works best um i think we're gonna go ahead and get closer to the waterfall i'm not sure how much of a change is going to make for the photo. I mean, obviously it's gonna change it, but I mean, in terms of whether it's good or not. I think the closer we get, the less nice the photo is going to look, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and head on over to the waterfall. Went to the base of the waterfall. There was quite a bit of people there, obviously. Um, so rather than take up everybody's time setting up camera for photo and video, I just took the shot. Uh, actually, not too bad. Kind of like it. Uh, it'd be nice if the lighting was a little bit different, but this is when I came, so this is when I'll shoot. Uh, just got to deal with that. But. Yeah, not too bad. Um, I'll just go ahead and kind of go through what I did. I'll put it up on the screen for you. Um, five exposure stack, because shadows on the bottom half of the frame compared to the highlights of the top half, quite a bit of dynamic range. Um, we got people coming, I'm not wearing my vest. We're gonna go this way. Um, so five, five exposure stack, and I did it twice for a focus stack as well. So I have focused on the bottom half, bottom third of the frame for the foreground object, which is a, I think a log, a tree, fallen tree, some rocks, some snow. And then focused on the background for the waterfall as well in the other focus stack. And then after I do the exposure stack, I will then take those, put them in Photoshop to do the focus stack and it'll be a nice photo and focus front to back. Um, F11 is per usual. I don't really change my settings all that often unless I'm doing night photos, which maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do some today. Um, I don't know if I want to stay out that late though. It's about a four hour drive back home. So uh, yeah, typically F11, this one is definitely F11 and then 100 ISO. So, nothing too different from what I usually do. Um, oh, and I did uh, 60 millimeter for the lens. And yeah, that's, that's the photo in a nutshell. The composition, just off the top of my head, uh, using the log is kind of a leading line. It does lead out, so maybe not the best uh, foreground element, but that's what I had there. So just, you know, go ahead and take it. Today's just a scout day. I'm not taking exceptional photos today. Just taking photos for fun. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe some of these will turn out good, but uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, the people decided to go down my path. Uh, you can see them in the background probably. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and end it there. So I'm gonna put my mask back on. Um, not actually ending the video, just talk about the photo. 
And uh, yeah, uh, then we're gonna go to Mirror Lake after this. So I'm gonna head back to the car and then drive to the, I think there's a parking lot over there. Drive to the parking lot over there and do I think a one hour hike to Mirror Lake. Obviously no clouds, maybe not the best thing, but uh, we'll just go over there, see what it looks like. And then after that, we'll head over to Horsetail Falls. That's what it's called, I think. Horsetail Falls, park ourselves there and wait for sunset. Unless we have a lot of time after Mirror Lake, then we'll think of something else to do. Maybe Inspiration Point, Artist Point, what, whichever one of those two. You know, the iconic Ansel Adams scene. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So for now, head back to the car, go to Mirror Lake, maybe get another photo over there. And then we'll see what the time looks like when we're done with that. to Mirror Lake. Bit of a hike. I think I took the long way too, but whatever, we're here. Uh, damn. Nice place. Haven't found a composition yet. Uh, still kind of looking around. As you can see, I'm trudging through the snow. There is, the, the trail is gone. All that's, ouch, all that's here is, is the trail that other people have left through the snow. Yeah. So I'm gonna go look for a composition. I don't know where to find one, uh, but I'll just keep looking around. Hopefully I'll find one. Uh, I'm a little worried about time. It took me a bit to get up here. Uh, and I still gotta go to Horsetail Falls. So if I don't find a composition, we can always come back next time. Probably Monday, if anything. Uh, but I really wanna see if if we can even get a glimpse of the firefall phenomenon over there. It's a little more important than finding a composition here, but we'll take a few minutes to look around, see if we can find anything. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find something. Trudging through snow is quite the workout. Even though most of it was packed, still get those pockets where nobody's stepped. Your foot just goes straight into the snow. It takes a lot out of you. Uh, so I decided to turn around. There's definitely compositions over there. And we'll come back in a few days because I'm gonna make full use of that seven day permission to come back into the, uh, the park. Um, but I felt if I'm just going to sit over there and keep looking for compositions, I'm not going to have time to actually look for a composition over by Horsetail Falls. So, and it's almost four. It Take me about 30 minutes to walk back, 15 minutes to drive over to the area, and then probably about half an hour to find a composition. Again, since I haven't been there, or since this is my first time here, uh, I'd like as much time as possible to actually find something over there. That and it'll set me up for success the next time if we don't see the phenomenon today. At this point, I think we're going just all in. We're gonna get that photo. Might be tough from what I hear. This place gets swarmed with photographers when the during the actual week of like the 12th to 25th or something like that. Obviously, we should not come on the weekend. It's too crowded. We'll come on a weekday, unless unless we see the phenomena today. That'd be great. Then I don't have to worry about that and I can just explore the rest of the park next time. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head on back into the car, drive over to the falls, see if we can get that photo. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It's a clear day today, although some clouds did move in, light, wispy looking clouds. Shouldn't affect the effect too much if it happens. 
but we shall see. Wish me luck. That was awesome. Uh, I didn't think that would actually happen to see the waterfall light up. I mean, okay, it wasn't an angle directly on the waterfall, but that wasn't too bad at all. I, I like that composition quite a bit. Um, let's see, what was I doing? Um, so we had the falls on the right hand side and then I balanced it with the trees on the left. Um, I like the trees there because without them, it's just blue sky. Uh, there's a little bit of clouds, it's a little wispy, but it really wasn't all that interesting. So having the trees there helps to add, for me, something a little bit more than just blue sky. Um, yeah. Uh, as for settings, F11 again, ISO 100. Um, I started with just the polarizer. And then slowly, not slowly, it's just one filter. <laughs> I threw the three stop filter on towards the end there. So the, I, I don't know which photo I'm gonna pick yet. I took a lot, um, cause the water was constantly shifting. So that orange glow just kept changing constantly. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see what, what uh, shutter speed the final photo has. Uh, that was, that was pretty awesome. All right, well, I think that's it for Yosemite today. Definitely gonna come back in a few days, most likely Monday. And then we'll see if we can get a reservation because they start doing reservations. But we'll see if we can get a reservation for actual Firefall. Not during that weekend, because that's, that's crazy. But um, if we can, we'll be back a third time if not, then, oh well, I got this. this. This is definitely not bad at all. I like this. There's always next year. So yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, comment what you think about the photos. I think I got three today. It's been a long day. <laughs> I think I got three today. Um, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and then I'll see you in the next video. Peace.